it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't want to How to understand the requirements of our relationship Hello friends, this is Yundel And today's share is about understanding the requirements of our relationship this is just a share from my own reading and of course from my own life experiences it's an every one of us have relationship right we all have relationship and we have to take care of it and to take care of our relationship we must follow the requirements of it i know it's not easy and many of us is not thinking about it but think if you really want to have a successful relationship you must follow the requirements to hold on with a good relationship with your spouse a good relationship with your friends a good relationship with your parents and loved ones I am sharing with you based on my spiritual lifestyle which I am reading in the scripture why I am sharing this blog every day I am still working with myself life is not perfect at all we all have blows we all have weaknesses we have to work on with our life and to work on to have a good relationship we must have the requirements to fulfill it i am sharing this with you in hope it can help you too it helps me and i am still working for it It's not always easy but awareness and mindfulness really will help you if you really want to develop a good relationship with your loved ones you must follow the requirements of a good re- relationship again if you are going to do your best to create a good relationship you have to write it down pray for it what you have been written and meditate that you want to have a good relationship it's a work it's always work and effort if you are going to live our best life if we're going to change our life for the better it's always a work needed to be done and by that we have to apply it in our life through writing it down being aware what you have written and apply it in your day to day life Again as what I've said I am not perfect but if you can accept your mistakes if you can accept your flaws and work on with it and the key here is also swallowing our ego swallow your pride if you want to create a good relationship with others we must be understanding enough we must be a good listener to others we must listen what the other person have to say be a good listener be humble swallow your pride swallow your ego because if we keep following our pride and ego believe me it will not lead you to a good relationship i experience that as a human being i have my own weaknesses i work on with myself to be more humble to be more grounded in order for me to easy to swallow the ego and pride ego and pride can really destroy our relationship so write it down all the requirements of being working on of your good relationship remember you are not doing it for others you are doing it for yourself and you have to work what is good 
for you. Believe me, you will feel good with yourself and satisfied when you have the self-control to your ego and pride. A relationship requirements. Every friendship requires equal to keep it healthy, strong, and alive. It doesn't matter whether it is between spouses, couple, parents, or children, or friends. All relationships need to be nurtured, just like plants that will die without food, water, and light. Human relationships need constant care as well. Making God first is the most critical requirement for all healthy human connections. Without God's love, is impossible. Love is not possible because God is love. When God is the center of your relationship, you will not only receive love, but there will be mutual respect as well. Honest, honesty and loyalty is very important in a relationship. All of those traits are highly sought after but sadly hard to find because too many relationships are not built on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. When there are bumps in the road, arguments that come up or the appearances of opinion all can be resolved peacefully when approached with a spirit of God's love. Choose your friends wisely. Choose your spouse wisely. Prayerfully without your friendship guardian by removing toxic relationships. Be aware to remove toxic relationships. Those who bring you down or are not helping you grow spiritually, take that away in your life. Instead, choose healthy relationship that will draw you closer to Jesus and help you to be the person God wants you to be. As it says in Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. It continues in Job 6, 14, to him who is afflicted, Kindness should be shown by his friend, even though he forsake the fear of the Almighty. And it says also in Colossians 3, 13, Bearing with one another and forgiving one another, if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgive you, so you also. And it says, also in Ephesians 4, 1 and 3, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling which you were called, with all lowly lease and gentleness, with long suffering bearing with one another in love, in devouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the band of Peace. It is very clear in the scripture, it is written that we are going to love one another. We are going to support one another. We must be more forgiving to one another. Forgive each other to fulfill the requirements of a good relationship. We must put God's love in the middle of the relationship. God's love is very important here. And with prayer, with your relationship, it will really blossom to a good relationship you can ever dream of. One of the biggest requirements of a relationship is God's love. Again, when there is love in the middle of the relationship, you are easy to forgive one another. It's easy for you to swallow your pride, to swallow your ego when there is love. 
song. Put love in your friendship. Put love in your relationship. Be humble, be grounded, be kind one another, and be easy to forgive one another. When you can do all these things, believe me, you are creating a healthy relationship with one another. I know it is easier said than done because of our pride and ego. But the key here is we must swallow the pride and ego and put Put God's love in every relationship we are facing or we are holding. If you want to hold out with your friendship relationship throughout life, you must be loyal, kind, and forgiving with each other. Be easy to forgive one another and put love in it then by that you are fulfilling the requirements of a good relationship this is Yundel thank you for listening thank you for dropping here in my channel I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey I love you all and bye bye like we feel the same, we love what we have.